Well, there's certainly a concern because the reality is you see some of these newer, brighter lights and you got to be asking yourself, are they actually brighter these days? You notice they're blue, sometimes they're a little bit brighter. But here's the real problem. When you get inside of a car and you can't all of a sudden see in front of you because you see those blue lights, you might wince. You might catch that glare and pull your eyes away. But what if you're going 55 miles an hour? In 55 miles an hour, in just two and a half seconds, guess how far you can go? That's about 50 yards. I want you to see how far of a distance you're actually driving without looking at the road. And there, well, there lies the real concern here. It is irritating. It is dangerous sometimes. Yeah. It do, you know, especially if you have to do that. It's not like the old days where you knew somebody had their brights on. You don't dare flash because they may not have their brights on. And then when they do, it's kind of dangerous. If you drive at night or early in the morning, you've noticed. For years, you'd see bright lights, aftermarket parts to increase the brightness, but nowadays, more and more car companies are building in what's known as LED, or in some cases, HID lights, high-intensity discharge. We're seeing a lot more people coming in with complaints of glare, especially with the new, brighter LED lights. Ryan Jaber is an ophthalmologist with Henry Ford Health Systems. He says hardly a day goes by where he doesn't get an office visit from someone concerned about seeing these newer, brighter lights. It allows for better reaction time. However, when you're on the other side of it, it does decrease your vision quite a bit, um, especially for those few seconds when you're staring you know, right at it. The problem is there is a limit to what can be done. Avoid the lights, well, you lose dependence. There are federal regulations about how bright lights can be, though. Bill Laprell dries for a living. For him, these lights are already too bright. They are annoying. They, they, they're pretty bright. Does, do you worry that it's hurting your eyes or anything like that? You just try to not focus on it too much, look away as much as you can. But of course, you don't want to look away too much. You need to be looking down the road. So if these lights are a problem, is there anything we can do about this? Uh, doctors say that if you're having a real concern, either early morning driving like right now or late at night, if these lights are just too bright for you, you might want to schedule a visit with an ophthalmologist because you may have an issue with cataracts, but there could be an underlying issue. But again, to your point, Keenan, look at how far you are driving in just two and a half seconds. That's at 55 miles an hour. Imagine the expressway at 70, how far you can go. That's half of a football field. So it's not even just an issue of potentially what could be wrong with your eyes, but it's also an issue if it's just irritating you, you're not watching where you're going. This is a concern, and the reality is there's regulations in place to how bright these things can be, and a lot of people have not hit that brightness yet. So this could just be the new norm. And if they haven't hit that brightness yet, it could become an even bigger problem. Thank you so much, Matt. And this is certainly a hot topic, and we invite you to post your thoughts on our Getting Around Metro Detroit Facebook group. You can share your other road-related problems there as well. Just search Getting Around Metro Detroit on Facebook. 640